Guam's restoration effort continues. Crystal Pakistan Augustine, of course, the communications director is here. And uh, Crystal, ha um, half a day, happy Sunday. And it, um, there's just a lot of moving parts, a lot of pieces, a lot, a lot of information about a lot of different things that our, our residents are asking about. So uh, what have you got today? Half a day and good afternoon, Jason, and to the people of Guam. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Recovery is not easy. Uh, a little bit of a panic on Saturday, of course. Many people, hundreds of people flocking to the gas stations. I want to be clear that there is no shortage of fuel for the island. It was a distribution issue. I want to say that, you know, Governor Leon Guerrero and Lieutenant Governor Tenorio, they met personally with our fuel companies uh, Saturday afternoon, and we've got the update. They've been working together, hand in hand, in tandem to get fuel out to you with stations coming online, more stations, I want to say over a dozen gas stations mm -hmm. coming online as of this morning. So that's great news to the people of Guam. Again, no fuel shortage, but I know that everything is linked. The fuel panic was a, is, is a result of, you know, no power. We need power to, you know, run our generators for our cars. Uh, to cook, you know, basic necessities. And so I just want to be clear to the people of Guam, there is no shortage of fuel supply on island. It was a distribution issue uh, in person with us yesterday was was Bill Ada from uh, IP and Shell and also Mr. Jimmy from Mobile. And then I know we're also in communications with SPPC who operate um, 76. And so they're all slowly coming online. If you notice on the roads, if you've been on the roads, our Guam Police Department are actually assisting in the escort to ensure those tankers are making it to and from. And also it enables us to do those tanker transports even in the evening hours. Understood. And, and hopefully, so hopefully, hopefully. It's a great partnership between the port, the Guam Police Department, and our fuel companies who, again, are working together to get that fuel out to you. Because I'm like also hearing pay less, like having to shut down early mm. because their generator can't run as long. And so, well, hopefully, so hopefully, you know, like um, the, the people that need to gas most will get some but as as you said as more and more stations come online and as their hours uh extend because like at least initially the hours were like a little bit truncated more and more people are going to be able to um uh to get gas and the problem will um uh will line but yeah yesterday was like a little um a little scary but i know the governor had a busy day yesterday and uh, more recently she even met with uh, our federal partners correct Yes, FEMA is here. Well, FEMA has been here, but these are really the top officials. Uh, Bob Fenton from FEMA, no newcomer to Guam, and uh, another uh, another woman. I can't I'll pull up her name shortly. Uh, she's. They landed yesterday afternoon and straight out of Anderson. They they met with Governor Leon Guerrero, and Lieutenant Governor, basically to talk about their roles. You know, they're here on Guam to support us. Our federal family is here for us. Uh, what's happened now is Governor Leon Guerrero has, has uh, applied for individual assistance or what we like to call here IA, and so that we can proceed with, you know, getting help to our people. I want to be clear that, you know, if, if we're not given individual assistance, that there are so many other resources that can support us. Uh, our federal family, again, ready to mobilize. And then this morning, this the same group of FEMA partners met with our mayors, our island mayors. And of course, oh my goodness, I have so much love and mad respect and kudos to our island mayors really are they're just they're just so phenomenal. Uh, again, they're filtering all the calls. They're the first ones to hear the complaints. Uh, they met with FEMA and our governor and lieutenant governor this morning. Uh, vast array of of issues, and we're working to to correct a lot of them. And uh, some of it was green waste debris, and so that's a big thing. Now that we're in recovery mode, we're get we're cleaning up our yards. We're trying to take down that fallen debris, the trees, the fallen trees. So the JIC will be announcing those sites shortly. We've identified 19 sites, um, one per village, and we'll be announcing that shortly. We're just trying, we're just pending security. So we're mobilizing our Guam National Guard to do security because, you know, it, you don't think about it, but it's really important that we have security at our greenway sites because- And at the very not, least, crowd control because because people are on control. edge at this time, yeah. Absolutely, but also just to ensure that we're only collecting green debris. Uh, you know, we're not trying to collect your trash from your household trash. We're not trying to collect metallic waste. No tin roofing to be collected here. Uh, this will be specific to green waste. Again, this could pose a hazard. Um, right now, there's a no burn, uh, a no burn notice from the Guam Fire Department. As it, there's a lot of different things, a lot of moving parts, and so, you know, the people of Guam, thank you so much for your patience. We're working with our utilities, governors, meeting with our critical infrastructure agencies every single day 
to get an update. There you go. Uh, now, so now, you did, now you did mention trash and it is worth pointing out that, that normal trash services will resume from the Guam Solid Waste Authority as they normally do on Monday. So the, so the trash men are going to run and God bless them because they're, they're doing an amazing <laughs> job. They, they, they probably got like a pretty big load to haul away tomorrow. But um, if you need to go to the dump, the transfer stations will be open on Tuesday from nine to five, right? Right. So as of today, the great great news is for trash. So we'll be announcing that great, those greenway sites, one per village shortly, just pending security. Uh, the trash collection update is curbside trash collection services resume tomorrow. Oh, my God. Monday, May 29. Accessible routes will be prioritized, but I know they'll circle back for those inaccessible routes. Um, they'll be scheduled once they are cleared. So say your house got blocked in by fallen debris, they'll come back, they'll circle back for you. Customers are reminded to place their trash carriers on the curb the night prior to their designated collection day. So hey, if your trash day is on Tuesday, put out your trash bin on Monday. Uh, Harmon, Agate, and Malolo transfer stations will be open seven days a week. That's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, and outstanding. So um, really, cleanup says really recovery. Um, I want to say thank you to the Department of Public Works and thank you to our island mayors and their hardworking staff for doing the most, the first. And when I say that, I mean, they were the first ones on the road once it was clear enough to clear the debris, especially on the main roads, so that enabled our our Guam Water Works Authority, our Guam Power Authority, our telecoms par partners, our first responders to be able to traverse through our roadways. So thank you so much again to our mayors and our DPW Department of Public Works uh, to, to clear the roads. So cleanup is now really the word of the week. The theme of the week is recovery. Let's get back up. Guam, uh, looking forward to reporting more positive news. Um, possibly going to do some type of press briefing tomorrow with our FEMA partners and our media so that the public can find out, you know, what's available to them, how we can support, how our federal partners who are here, who've been here since pre-landfall of, of Mawar can support us. All right. So keep an ear out for that, ladies and gentlemen, my friends. And Crystal, thank you so much. But until then, everybody, you got some homework to do. You got to take those trash receptacles, move them to the curb because ah, trash will, trash will okay, be going to clean day. So again, cl start clearing those debris, like line it up outside your house. And then we're going to announce the green waste debris sites. You can load it up bring it to that site and, you know, let's get recovery. And then yes, trash day. Cause I know a lot of spoiled food, a lot of mess. Oh my God, I need to do laundry. <laughs> yeah. You, you and you and me both. So I'm going to let you go, but Crystal, thanks as always, man. Keep fighting. Thank you so much. The people of Guam, please be safe.